Pedal faster, Max! My introduction to Tamiya kit models was probably about 1969 when I saw the original Godzilla movie with my dad on our black and white Zenith. And my older brother mentioned that the model tanks were probably Tamiyas. And I was like, what's Tamiya? And he explained it to me. And I was like, that's interesting. And I became kind of infatuated with them because I'd never seen one before. Shortly thereafter, a couple of Tamiya models showed up at the local Five and Dime, but they were outside of my reach. They were over $3 a piece. That was the Streetswagen and the Russian SU-100. So I didn't buy them. They were just kind of that thing that was beyond the reach of a 9 or 10 year old. But then in 1971, my brother attended the 13th World Jamboree in Japan and he came back. He brought me a couple of models, including a Tamiya 135th scale T3485, which was a remote control, not radio control, but remote control model. Now that was beyond my abilities as a kid, so we had a family friend build it for us, Mr. Doyle Pope, who sadly has passed now, and he did a fantastic job. And I played with that thing till I burned all the batteries out. I really don't know what happened to it in the long run. But then I saw a Tamiya kit show up at the dime store a year or two later that I probably could have afforded, but I just had moved on to other things. It was the gas, which ironically, for the first time, I just built the other day. You know, the great Styrene River has its way of uh, looping back to us. And it was looking at that gas after I built it, I remembered, wait a minute, I saw one of these at the five and dime when I was a kid. And it's just one of those little things where the nostalgia just sort of hits you like a wave. Now, of course, I've become a huge Tamiya fan, uh, and uh, I've got uh, Tamiya Korean War Sherman on the desk and many more in the stash, and I think it's a wonderful company. But that's how I was introduced to it, you know, through a, a, basically a comment that my brother made the first time I saw Godzilla. And, of course, at some point I would have been uh, introduced to him being a model builder, but... It just got me wondering, how were you first introduced to Tamiya? Or any other kit model company that you particularly enjoy? What was the first time you remember hearing the name of a company and that sort of triggered your relationship with them? Well, yeah, that was just what I was thinking about today. Well, guys, uh, I'm probably down in Puerto Rico right now or somewhere between there in New York. I hope you're doing well. Take care of yourselves. And as always, model on.